Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here in beautiful Granada, Nicaragua. And today we have for you is a video on, Mark, why is it I hear about all these really cheap tickets for flights but I can never find them? So today we have for you are the six reasons why you don't get those super crazy awesome cheap tickets that you hear online. Now to help you out with this, I want to use kind of like marketing terms to try to get you to understand what they're doing to you, okay? And so the first thing you'll see is, hey, $300 to Ireland. All right, but the thing is, the key thing, the marketing term here is a limited time offer. Usually when you see these really low price tickets, it's for a certain period of time. Okay, so it might be, oh, you can only travel in October for a week, or it might be if you buy right now in a flash sale or something like that. And so you don't really get these prices because it is for a limited time. These airlines need to sell a certain number of tickets on each flight. So they wanna have kind of like, we need to at least have 100 people on this flight. So let's try to sell those tickets and then we can have the higher fares for everyone else. So what I say is when you see that deal pop up, you need to go for it right away to see if it's there because it might not be but the thing is it just is a limited time offer today only or only for october 3rd through october 17th but the problem is i'm a professor so i have to work at that time so those prices don't really happen to me so if you got if you're kind of free with time those deals actually can come up but remember it's a limited time offer and the thing is with that, you might hear there's certain days that are better to buy a ticket and things like that. Some people say 90 days beforehand. Some say, oh, 62 is the best day. Look, when I say looking for a good price, the good price is what you feel is a good price. Because sometimes I feel $1,000 for a ticket to Europe is a good price. But sometimes I'm like, but if I see there's you know other tickets out there at Christmas time, and I'm like, man, I can't get it for under $1,200. I'm like, well, actually for Christmas, that's not too bad. And you start debating these kind of things. So when you're looking at prices, make sure it's a good price for you not just for the airlines because that's when you feel better I'm like I don't mind if someone paid less than me if I felt like I got a good deal on those tickets and I'm getting to go the days I want now the second reason why you don't go with those tickets our next logo is while supplies last yes while supplies last those dirt cheap tickets it's kind of like the Black Friday deals on the 70 inch 4k TVs at Walmart there's only three or four or five of those tickets out there and these companies can announce that because yes we had five tickets at that price just like we had five 70 inch TVs for five dollars okay and so the thing is that's why I say is get on that right away because there are limited supplies for that it's also the same if you want to get a good deal on like using your miles to get a free flight sometimes the cheap mile tickets there's only a few of them on there then they have the higher miles you have to use so when you see that realize look supplies are limited you got to get in there while you can and that's why they do that to inspire people to buy to pick up those few first few tickets now our third one is shipping and handling not included taxes may apply one of the things you might see is sometimes you'll see this great deal for a ticket and then you go to buy the ticket it's a $300 ticket but by the time you get to checkout it's like 450 bucks like what happened here taxes fees shipping and handling all those things kind of add on so it might be a really cheap ticket for example you could fly a legion for $40 to Florida but then you got to pay $50 to check a bag or $25 to bring on a carry-on and all these things kind of add up and add up and add up. Oh, you want to have a seat to guarantee you sit by your honey or by your kids? There's more money there. So all these extra things go on to there. So actually you don't get that super cheap price even if you got that cheap ticket. Now the fourth thing that kind of gets you when you try to get that cheap ticket but you don't get it is the old bait and switch. Look, we have super cheap tickets to Managua. And so we saw super cheap tickets for Managua. Hey, maybe we do check out Nicaragua. And the thing is, we looked and then when we actually looked for the tickets to Managua, Nicaragua, from where we were, like Chicago and stuff, they, they, the advertisement was like $350. When we actually went online, it was $1,000. I'm like, holy crap, 1000 bucks from Chicago to Managua? Sorry, I, I can't afford that. But the thing is, in our minds, we'd already thought, we're going to Nicaragua. We're going to Nicaragua. We'd looked, we got the books, all this kind of stuff, really excited for it. But then the tickets were too expensive. So what we ended up doing, instead of buying that $300, $350 ticket to Managua, which turned out to be a thousand bucks, we actually switched to a ticket to Liberia for 400 in Costa Rica. So it's not that the airlines are trying to bait you into looking for flights and then knowing that you're not gonna get the cheap ones so you'll buy something else more expensive, but that's one of the things that happens because there's been a lot of times when we'll get a notification from Delta or United or Allegiant or Lufthansa or whoever, or a TripAdvisor and they'll say, hey look, there's a great deal coming up. Why don't you sign up? 
and we'll go and look and see, oh, we can't get that cheap deal. But in my mind, I'm already set on being here in Granada, going to Lake Nicaragua and going through these letas and all kinds of stuff. It's so gorgeous, so great here. And then you see the tickets are so expensive, you're like, dang it, but what else can I get? And so you start looking for other things. So that bait and switch, yes, you got this cheap flight. You're on our site, you're gonna look for something else. Probably, hopefully enough people will actually buy some flight when they see that deal, that they'll eventually come here and stuff like that. So that bait and switch does actually happen. They might not go for that, like for the real reason, but that's one of the things that happens. So you actually spend a lot more money. It's like, wow, I was gonna get a cheap ticket to Managua and now I end up having a really expensive ticket to France. What happened? These things do happen. Now our fifth one is the old McDonald's. Would you like fries with that? <laughs> now, when I say would you like fries with that, it kind of goes with the shipping and handling kind of things. There's all the extra little things that go on there as well, because you might get that cheap ticket. You might get that Ryanair, you know, 10 euro ticket to go someplace, but that really does happen because you're going and you buy the ticket, then it's like, oh, well, if you want to pay with your credit card, well, that's another $4 on top of it. Or your debit card, that's only $2, don't worry. Oh, you want to you wanna print your ticket at the, at the airport? Oh, well, that's another $4 there versus t you know, printing it at home. But I'm traveling, where the heck do I have a printer with me? Do you carry a printer with you? No, and not every hotel will let you print stuff off. So you have that, and then of course the food, like I said before, the food, the snacks, and you know what? If I'm sitting with my family, maybe I wanna get on early so I guarantee we're all together, or I guarantee we get the overhead space. Well, guess what? There's another 15 bucks right there. So all these little add-ons, like I said, you know, would you like fries with that? Oh, would you like to board with people? Or would you like to be last and sit in the middle with nowhere near your little five-year-old? which has happened to us before. So that's why you gotta really be careful with these things, okay? And the last one, the sixth reason why you don't get these super cheap prices sometimes is the buy one, get one adage. You might see that $300 ticket, okay? But the thing is that $300 ticket is the, from Chicago to Managua. And the thing is, that's that way. But when you try to get the return ticket, they don't have a reciprocal $300 ticket coming back. It might be $450 to come back. And so you don't get the $300 and $450 average together. No, you pay the $450 price, that higher price on there. And you'll see that a lot when you're booking tickets. I mean, I've seen that with Europe a lot of times. Is I'll have like a $700 ticket. Oh, if I could get that same kind of ticket back, it would only be $700 to France. But since the way back, I can't get it. Oh, well, I have to pay the higher eight nine hundred thousand dollar price okay so if you like travel videos like this travel advice videos what to see and do here in granada things you'll shock you about nicaragua other things like that how not to get ripped off when you travel how pickpockets actually work and get you please subscribe to our channel because we put out two or three travel videos every single week from around the world to help out travelers like you and like me and what we focus on is honest travel advice the real stuff we don't sit there and take, yo, yes, this place is awesome because they gave us a free night. We don't do that. We give you the honest travel advice because we want you to be the best travelers possible and we want to be the best travelers possible and we want to help everybody travel better. So I'll say adios de Nicaragua, bye from Nicaragua, and hopefully you do get that cheap flight. Just remember, book early, book often, <laughs> book early, vote early, vote often, no. Book early, when you see it, you know, make sure you do the booking, check out your times, be kind of flexible with your dates, you'll be okay. Bye from Nicaragua.